Okay, welcome back to the second edition of The Sims 3, The Tale of the Madleys. So in my last one, you would know that I actually um, had a fire in my house, which was not exactly what I had anticipated for the first time being able to upload to YouTube. But them sort of things happen, so we just have to sort of go with that. Um, they're just going to clean up where the actual fire was at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's not real good. We had a fire, terrible, terrible, terrible. Okay, well maybe we just might not get him to do. She gets very excited. So we're just going to try to clean this up. Um, <clears throat> but there seems to be a problem here. We might need to move the fireplace for the moment. We'll just move the fireplace. Oh, whoops. Outside for a second. Oh. Damn it. Okay, sorry about that. That was the wrong button. <clears throat> okay, maybe she may be able to clean up now. There we go. So she's just going to clean the floor right now. Um, not that she's enjoying it very much, but it needs to be done. He's just having some time before he goes. Um, now what I am actually going to do is I'm going to actually have a small pond out here for him. Uh, for so that he can go fishing basically um, <clears throat> the idea behind that is basically he is an angler um, and rather than traveling to the fishing spot it's so much easier these days just to be able to have a fishing spot in your own backyard um, and I know that there is actually one where you can actually have your own backyard um, per se um, where there is actually a fishing hole at the back of it so I'm just going to create a little one here right now for him so there should be enough room to still walk for him and we're just not going to do that. So we just made sure this does work and he can actually fish at it right now. He can go to work in a second. Oh, there's two cars conjointed there. Now oh, he can test that when he gets home. We'll just get him to go to work and he can test that when he actually comes home. That would be a better idea. Okay, so it's almost time for me to start work. It's 8.30. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually set the lounge room back up again. We're going to bring this back inside. Just because it needs to be here. Um, and we're going to just set this over here for now. Okay, we're just going to set that right there. Um, and we're just going to actually get the kids a couple more toys as well. You notice that they sometimes fight over them. So we're just going to have two xylophones, I think it's xylophones, yes, two xylophones at the moment. Um, and we'll give them a toy box a little bit later on. So she's just having a little bit of fun right now. Which that's fine, she can just relax and stuff at the moment. Because she'll start work shortly. And this will be the first day of The Sims work. So basically this is what I'm getting to. Is that this is going to be episode 2, the first day of their uh, work lives. Um, that you're going to be seeing now. Okay, so we're just going to get off the computer right now. As you can see, two kids have just been dropped off in our lounge room. This one's here who's a little hungry. Um, and this one's actually smelly, so we're just going to change his diaper right now as well. Um, give him a little bit of a feed afterwards. It's always good. So we'll just do this right, right now. So this is our daycare uniform. And as you can see, our job experience actually grows um, as, as the as we learn things and uh, teaching the kids things as well. So this one's a little bit, bit in a bad mood right now, so we're just going to give him a bit of a tickle, toss him in the air, just play with him for a little while just to make him a little bit happier. Um, in my earlier one that I recorded that I couldn't actually upload, we actually were starting to get um, him to uh, talk, so I believe it was him anyway. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to continue with that. He's not very happy right now. So we might just have to stop playing with um, Garrick, I think his name is, and um, give give Dimitri a little bit of attention right now, which is okay because we can do that. 
He's obviously, oh, he's a little bit smelly. Okay, so he just needs a bit of a diaper change, a bit of a toss in the air. It must have been him I was actually teaching to talk. So we'll just um, sit and teach him to talk a little bit as well. That will help the kids grow as well. So we're just going to sit over here and have a little bit of a chat. So we're just going to fast forward this a little bit. It's, um, it's really great to actually sit there and actually watch it in, in real time. Um, but when you haven't got the time to do it, sometimes it's good just to fast forward. This kid over here that's actually playing the xylophone at the moment, he's actually had a little bit of an accent I just noticed. Um, <clears throat> but he'll also be learning from that xylophone. Um, as they as they pick up things, they become smarter and such, and, and that always helps you with your daycare profession because it helps you with your experience and it helps you become um, the top babysitter that you can possibly be. So we're just going to um, stop talking to him and we're going to just change his diaper. Okay, so we're just going to go, yep, that's just for something for Sean to do, which we can do, That that's not a problem. As you can see, he's become very smelly. He's got the green around him, so that's never a good thing. Okay, so he wants a little bit of a feed. We'll give him a little bit of feed right now. So we'll just um, pop him over there, give him something to eat. Now, we've got a couple of minutes on our hands, so we might as well go and sit at the computer and continue writing uh, the Homburg Weedler Effect, which is something I really should try to rename when I make my books next, so that way I know what I'm... Um, actually writing so while the kids are actually entertained you can be actually working on novels or paintings or, or all sorts of things like that so as long as the kids are entertained and they're being taken care of that's that's the, always the, the best thing about it so Sean's actually on his way home now he's got a couple of things he needs to do uh, grape A which he needs to grow some grapes um, which we're actually going to do that <clears throat> so he's going to come home and he's going to he's going to plant the grape there. So we'll get him to do that. Get him to pay the bills and we'll just get him to go fishing for a little while. That will keep his fun up. He's an angler so he'll enjoy that thoroughly. This kid here is a little bit lonely at the moment so we might actually just stop writing for a little bit and go and um, play with him. <laughs> Sometimes it can be actually easier to have the computers and such in the same room that you have the kids in. That way you're not moving a very long way. Okay, so that actually does work. Sean can actually stand out the front of our own house and actually be fishing. So that's always a bonus. So he can be in there fishing. And the fish can actually be used as fertilizer for your um, plants. And it, it does help you f um, with that also. We'll just put his um, high school diploma on the wall as well. <clears throat> so something's happened here. Oops, what have we got here? Okay. Dimitri's a little bit hungry, so we're going to stop playing with Garrick and just give him a little bit of a, a feed. Now it's getting to about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so we actually finish at 7 o'clock. Um, so once that finishes, we'll just say the day's over. Um, that will be the end of this episode, so that's just got a little bit longer to go, not too long. Um, he's a little bit lonely, so let's just... She gets very excited about these sort of things. That's the best part about being family oriented, being a little bit childish as well. They know how to, um, they know the, how chi um, children, sorry, um, react to their toys and such. So she gets very excited about that. That's the trait about having to be um, childish. So, yeah. He has room for a little snack, so we're just actually going to give him a little bit of a, um, a, a snack as well on the floor there. Um, as for Sean, it looks like he's actually catching fish, which is always good. So you've actually got the option to uh, gift them to be um, uh, sent as fish to be mounted on your wall. Um, and you also do actually have the option to sell them as well. Um, what we're actually going to do is we're going to keep fishing for a little while and then tend to our garden. And we're going to fertilize with the fish that we actually catch. So keep that in the back of your mind.
Okay, so this kid's a little bit smelly, Dimitri. As you can see, this is what says Garak isn't great, he has no problems at the moment, so they're very happy children in that circumstance, which means you're usually doing a good job um, when that when that happens. Now, after I give him a bottle on the floor, I'm actually going to go to the loo. It's about 5.30, so that's fine. And then I may actually just begin to serve dinner. So we're just going to fast forward this a little bit. The kids are quite happy playing there, as you can see. And this is the bonus, is when you actually have children of your own in this, um, you can actually still be doing other things rather than just watching them 24-7 because you actually have control over them children um, when you have your own. So they can be actually playing with the toys or learning different things as well. So um, another good uh, thing in this is that... Um, I actually did great on both children today. So I actually made $240. So I made $240 for today, as well as um, making $100 a week off it. So you get a daily payment from Monday to Thursday, as well um, as the the stipend that they also give you. Um, and also if you do after hours daycare, they also. So here's the children being picked up by their parents right now. We're just gonna have a plate to eat. Along with Sean grabbing a plate to eat. Okay, so as you can see, he's actually caught three fish, which is fantastic. Um, so in the morning, what we're probably going to do is um, we're actually going to tend to the garden. So they're just going to finish their dinner. It's about 7.30. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop her in the shower before bed. So we'll just pop her in the shower. And then go to bed. And he'll basically just be having dinner and going straight to bed. So I'm just going to fast forward this very quickly. And that will be the episode number two. So thank you very much for watching. And um, enjoy.